Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this one is problem solving using money. So uh, this is lesson 9.5 in the book that I'm following. Our common core is to solve problems involving measurement and conversation of measurement from a larger unit to a smaller unit. So our essential question is, how can we use the strategy on act it out uh, to solve problems that use money? So we'll do a couple of these right here. So here, let's let's. Uh, use our prior knowledge here and find the total amount of money here. Okay, so here's one dollar. Here's one dollar. This is fifty cent piece or half a dollar. Here's a quarter. Here's a dime. Here's a penny. So here's all the money amounts right here. Okay, so one dollar, one dollar, fifty cents. Remember, fifty cents is fifty hundredths of a dollar. Twenty-five cents is twenty-five hundredths of a dollar. This is ten hundredths of a dollar. This is one hundredths of a dollar. Remember, hundredths is two decimal places. So here's my one dollar or one hundredths of one hundredths. Here's my second dollar. Here's my fifty hundredths or the fifty cents. Here's my twenty-five hundredths. So because you know when we represent money, it's represented in dollars, which is one hundred cents. So, so we're going to represent it in, uh, in dollars to represent money here. So here's the, the dime, and then here's that penny right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and add them up, you guys. So uh, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus uh, 0 plus 1 is 6. Okay, I don't have to carry anything on this one. So um, uh, add up this. 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 7, so 76 cents. So And then I have the $2. So adds up to $2.76, and, and okay? All right, so how about this one right here, you guys? Okay, so it looks like I see a, a three dimes, so 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, uh, 25 cents, or I can represent these as uh, uh, 25 hundredths if I want to talk about dollars. Okay, this is a penny, a penny, a penny, a penny, a penny, a penny, and then I got these three nickels right here. So I'm representing these as dollars right here, so in terms of hundredths, you guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and add up uh, the three dimes, uh, the one quarter, so the one quarter is 25 cents. The dimes, there's three of them, so it's three times 10. Uh, the nickels, there's three of them, so it's three times five, five hundredths. So I get 15 hundredths right there. And then the six pennies is six times one one hundredth, which is six one hundredths, and that, that represents six cents right there. So if I add up all those red numbers right there, uh, and I had to carry you guys, because five plus five is 10, 10 plus six is 16, so I carry the 10 right there. And then 1 plus 2 is 3, plus uh, 3 more is 6, 7. So there's my 76 cents. And I don't have any uh, carryovers on that. So all of these add up to uh, 76 cents or, or 76 hundredths of a dollar. Okay. Uh, see, I had something else on my mind too. I was gonna. Oh, I know what I remember I was going to do. This is how I do it. I start with the biggest number. So this 25 cents. And I think, okay, here's 25. Here's 35 because that's 10. Add 10 more is 45, 55, and then I start adding by fives. 60, 65, 70, and then 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. So a total 76 cents. I like to start with the biggest coin and go down, but whatever, whatever way you can do it. There's other ways too. All right, so let's try a problem here. So together, uh, Rosalinda and Matthew have $1.20. They want to share the money equally. Isn't that nice? So how much money will each get? So here's a dollar plus 10 plus 10. So here's a dollar 20 right here. So they want to split that up equally. Okay, so uh, read the problem. So what do we need to find and what information do we need to use and how are we going to use this information? So what do we need to find? Well, we need to find out the amount of money each will get if they're going to get them equally. So what information are we going to use? Well, we need to use the total amount of this dollar twenty right here and divide that amount into two equal parts. So how are we going to use this information? Well, we're going to use uh, coins. I'm going to use coins here and, uh, and show, you, show us together uh, to model the total amount and act out this problem. Okay, so remember from the prior lesson, a dollar equals four quarters. So I'm going to separate that dollar up into four quarters right here. And so we're going to use this graphic organizer to solve the problem. So we can make the dollar twenty with four quarters and two dimes. So here's my my dollar right here and then the two dimes right here. And so now we can, it's really easy to see which one each gets. We're going to circle the coins to show the two sets of equal values. So each of them is going to get the two quarters and a dime. Okay, so there we go. We're going to circle that right there. So each person will get how many quarters? Two quarters. And how many dimes? One dime. And each person is going to get, remember, two quarters. There's 25 cents plus 25 more. This is 50 cents plus a dime, 60 cents. So each person is going to get, now this is in dollars, 
So I'm going to have to represent this as 0 0.60. That's how you represent 60 cents in dollars. Okay, so 60 hundredths of a dollar. Remember, this zero ends in the hundredths spot. Okay, so each person gets two quarters, one dime, and each person's going to get um, 60 hundredths of a dollar or 60 cents. You know, I, 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 when I see this, I see 60 cents right there. Okay, but this is actually 60 hundredths of this dollar amount right there because of that dollar sign right there. Okay, hope it's not too confusing, you guys. So describe another way we can act out the problems using different coins. Okay, well, what I, I was thinking on this, you guys, is uh, uh, we can use 12 dimes, you know, because uh, 10 dimes represents a dollar plus the extra two that they have for the dollar twenty. So 12 dimes to make up a dollar twenty and then divide them up equally into two groups of six dimes. So here's uh, six dimes for each one, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So uh, they each get 60 cents right there or 60 hundredths of a dollar because it's in the dollars right there, okay? All right, so let's try another one. Uh, Nia, uh, Lucia, and Mia each have uh, 40 cents or 40 hundredths of a dollar. How much money do they have together? Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, we need to, uh, what do we need to find out? And what information are we going to use and how are we going to use this information? Well, we need to find out the total amount of money uh, that all three of them have together. Okay, so we're gonna we need to use uh, the forty cents uh, that each have, or forty hundred or forty hundredths of a dollar that each have, and then we're gonna use the coins uh, to to model forty uh, cents three times, once for each. Okay, that's why it's three times. And then we can count up the total amount of money. So there's several ways to do this. I'll show you a couple. Here's one way, you guys. So use a quarter, a dime, and a nickel to represent each of the forty cents. Because look, you guys, twenty five cents plus ten. Cents cents is 35 cents plus five more is 40 cents so here's 40 cents here's 40 cents here's 40 cents then what I'm gonna do is add up the quarters okay so when I add up three quarters that adds up to 75 cents or 75 hundredths of a dollar okay well now I'm gonna add up the dimes three dimes adds up to 30 cents I hope that you guys are understanding what I'm doing add up the nickels how much how much do I have in nickels five ten what fifteen right Okay, so when I add those up, that gets me 15 cents. So what's the total? I can just total them up now. I can go ahead and add 5 plus 5 is 10. So there's the 0 for the 10. And then I carry the 1 up there. So 1 plus 7 is 8. Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11. Plus 1 more is 12. So there's the 2 for the 12. Remember, the decimal comes straight down. And then I carry the 1 up there for the, the, the 10 part of the 12. So uh, the 1 plus all those zeros is $1.20 right there. Okay, uh, let's see. So explain how you can solve the problem using dimes and nickels. Okay, well, since each one has 40 cents, you guys, what I chose to do was use three dimes and two nickels. Look, three dimes. Here's one person, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So the, each person has three dimes and two nickels. Okay, so then what I can do is just do the same thing. I can add up those dimes. Uh, these three dimes is 30 cents. These three dimes is 30 cents, 30 cents, and then 15 and 15, and then add all those up, and all those add up to $1.20 as well. Okay, what other strategy could we use to solve this problem? Well, I was thinking uh, something like this, you guys. We could use a, a decimal model by beginning with two hundredths grids and the reason why we're doing hundreds you guys is is dollars is represented in uh, one dollar is 100 pennies so dollars is represented in hundreds that's why we use the hundreds grid and then what I can do is shade uh, uh, 40 squares to represent 40 cents for the one person then shade 40 more now watch I'm going to shade 40 more right here so it's going to go right there for the second person right there Okay, then I'm going to shade 40 more, so there's 20 right there, and I'm going to take 20 over there to shade 40 more for the third person. So we have shaded one full grid now, and then 20 more of this second grid right there. Okay, and so what that does is it represents, this represents $1 right here plus 20 cents. So a dollar 20, a dollar 20 in dollars, and then, uh, or just a dollar 20 written like that. Okay? Hope that makes sense, you guys. If it does, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. Take care, everybody.